Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. Once again, it is Team Ryan Ryan. Have you seen the very first video of the day? What are you waiting for, people? Go check it out. Hello, thank you, and come again. Anyway, if you really want to be part of the Rob Ryan Show, the link will automatically take you to the page. Just DM me there. We discuss about sports, wrestling, movies, politics, food, anything. So anybody on YouTube, follow me. And hopefully you could be a guest. Just let's make arrangements. I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter. All my social media accounts will be down below. So follow me, follow me, follow me. Thank you very much. Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now if you like to back relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now if you don't like that, maybe you want to check a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below. Okay, for this one, it will just be a link. There's a article plus there's a video down below. I guess it's an interview about Daniel Bryan. Let's continue. Now, no one thought that Daniel Bryan would get clear from the week. But he did. Okay. He did a great comeback. Um, do you think he should retire? Yes or no? Or do you think he's going to keep on wrestling until he can't wrestle anymore? Is he going to be a... I think there's a rumor that he's going to be a part-time wrestler. I don't know if that's really true or untrue. Now, last Friday, he, he wasn't even there on SmackDown. Same thing for Edge. So, are they going to save for Daniel Bryan and Edge to appear at SummerSlam or what? I mean, before SummerSlam, I don't know. I think that's kind of stupid for not them showing up a couple of days after WrestleMania. Very stupid. You just show Romans dumb. They don't have to compete. They could just show up and just discuss about their loss. Maybe they're going to show up tomorrow night on, on SmackDown. Who knows? So, I mean, I like Daniel Bryan. A lot of people didn't like him. A lot of people were probably pissed off because they added him into the match. I think that match made it even better than make it a triple threat match, you know? Maybe because they don't trust Edge one on one with Roman because I don't know. I mean he's healthy and you know, you never know, something could go wrong, so probably that's why W made a triple threat match instead of having Edge versus Roman, the original idea. Spear versus spear. Who do you think has a better spear? Edge or Roman? My opinion is Edge. Probably the younger viewers prefer Roman, you know? Now, it has been two years, two years yesterday since the Shield last match in the WWE. You know, I never did like the Shield. I mean, maybe in the beginning, but for some stupid reason, they want to keep bringing them back. Same thing like the DX. How many times are they going to bring them back, you know? We will never, ever see the Shield again in the WWE. Never. Okay, you guys could check this out. During a recent interview with P P T Sports. Um, Dana Bryan commented on the feeling the scratch prior to WrestleMania 37 match. You guys could check this out. Now, do you think he's done with wrestling? He has nothing else to prove. You know, the only thing he needs to do is be a W Hall of Famer. I think it's going to happen. But eventually, in the future, don't do it right away. Don't do like you did, like Shawn Michaels. I think that part with Shawn Michaels... That should just wait a couple more years, you know? But, whatever. What's the point of the Hall of Fame if Shawn Michaels came out of retirement a couple years later, but he regret doing that? He should have done it for record WrestleMania or whatever. Save, save it for a bigger moment. But, whatever. I remember a couple years ago, there was a rumor going around AJ Styles Shawn Michaels at the Rumble. Of course, it never happened. That'd be a great match. I love to see that match, you know? Title online, non title match, that'd be a great match. Of course, Shawn Michaels need to be in ring shape. Um, so, probably a lot of you are gonna bash me because the way I say things. Hey, this is just my, how I feel about this. Now, I know a lot of you don't like the WWE anymore because it's not edgy, horrible storylines, and all that good stuff. There's only. Two good matches at Mania. 
And where the hell was Sasha Banks? The night, a couple of nights after WrestleMania, was she pissed off? She had to drop the belt, or did they give her time off? I wonder if she's gonna show up tomorrow night on SmackDown. I'm just wondering. If not, that means she um, took another hiatus, like the last time she lost the belts. There's a tag team belts with her and Bailey. She was just she was upset. So maybe she's upset again. Who knows? You know. So let's see if she shows up. Tomorrow night on SmackDown, I was just wondering, you know. I think ben Blanca Belair will be a great women's champion for the SmackDown brand. But will W let her hold that belt that long like they did for Sasha? I just wondering, who do you think will be in the company longer, Sasha Banks or Blanca Belair? It all depends on the build-up. It all depends on the storylines. It all depends how these ladies feel comfortable with. Now, these two ladies could be like the Rock and Austin women's version of Austin and The Rock. That's just how I feel. You know, I could be right. I could be wrong. That match at Mania Night 1 tore down the house. If this was just a normal WrestleMania, I guarantee they will not close out Mania. Trust me, they won't. Maybe they will. Maybe they will not. So, what's your thoughts on this? On the article, what's your thoughts on the video? And all good stuff. Are you kind of surprised that Daniel Bryan did not win that Mania or not? I mean, I'm not really surprised that Roman won, but he had to pin both guys. Domination. I guess he's going to hold that belt until it's a proper time to him to lose the belt. He had, had a belt since, I don't remember, when he first came back into the, into the WWE. I think it was um, Payback, wasn't it? He just came out of nowhere, hard to do any work, and became champion. That was a crappy ending. It was. It really was. Who came up with the stupid idea? Was it McMahon? I think it was. Was that the original plan? So, I guess when you're a heel, you get all this special treatment. Or when you're Roman. So, have a good one. Let me know what you think about the video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe. The article will be down below. Or the link will be down below. And everyone out there, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Deuces. Apparently, I repeat myself, so I do apologize.